Hello, welcome to the Moon Scarab channel. My name is Ramon. On this video, we will talk about pendulums. What are they, their origin, and how to get started using one for divination purposes. Let's get started. A pendulum is a weighted object like a crystal, stone, glass, or metal, which hangs from a string, chain, or cord. It's a tool for divination, and it's used for spiritual guidance, making decisions, and answering questions. The way to use a pendulum is simple. You hold the pendulum in one hand, ask yes or no questions, and the way the pendulum swings will provide an answer. You can buy a pendulum from a spiritual shop, or you can make your own. But as simple as it may seem, there are many important factors to keep in mind when getting started using one. But first, let's talk about its history. Pendulums have been used as a tool for divination for thousands of years. There is evidence that pendulums were used in ancient Egypt and Rome as a dowsing and divination device, but their use may predate recorded history. Pendulums have been used by the French explorers, mathematicians, and even Italian scientists. Pope John XXII began persecuting witches who used this tool. The church saw the pendulum as a form of divination and devil worship, leading them to become forbidden until the mid-1700s. You may associate sometimes the word pendulum with a clock, and yes, a pendulum is basically any weight on the end of a string or chain that can swing from side to side with a constant period of movement as long as the pendulum's angle is no greater than 20 degrees. Using pendulums and clocks to keep time was an innovation of the 17th century. Let's see how to get started with pendulums. When choosing a pendulum, it's important to pick one that speaks to you. Don't get one just for the sake of it. There are infinite types and styles of pendulums. Make sure when you get one, you're 100% that that's the one for you. Once you have chosen your pendulum, the first thing you should do is cleanse it by using a cleansing method of your choice. I don't recommend using salt water as it can damage a lot of materials. The way of cleansing a divination tool is a personal choice. There are several ways to cleanse your pendulum and pendulum board, but here's a few examples. You can use moon water, sound vibrations, music, cleansing crystals, burn incense, candles, etc. Once you have cleansed your pendulum, you can charge it by moonlight. I've done it at full moon for better results. After your pendulum is charged, you're ready to activate it and begin your dowsing work. First, your pendulum and you have to learn to speak to each other. The best way is to sit in a relaxed position, hold the pendulum using your dominant hand. Hold the pendulum at the end or near the top of the chain, between your thumb and index finger, while suspending your pendulum with your fingers. At this point, you're ready to activate it. Begin by asking very simple, straightforward yes or no questions, which you already know the answer to. So that way, you can determine the direction of movement for the yes answers and the no answers. Mine are synced, so back and forth means yes, left and right means no, and a diagonal sway in one direction or the other can be maybe or we ask the question. When asking questions, once you start using it, you have to be completely detached from the outcome of your answer. Don't expect the pendulum to agree with what you're expecting as an answer. Why? Because your energetic vibrations can cause the pendulum's answers to be inaccurate and your energies and desires will influence the tool. Store your pendulum in a black solid pouch and keep it hidden out of sight. Remember, pendulums absorb and release high amounts of energy, so it's important to cleanse and charge your pendulum from time to time. So at this point, your pendulum is ready to go. Some people compliment the pendulum by using a pendulum board. What is it? It's a small, often circular board that can be used for divination along with the pendulum itself. Using a pendulum board alongside with a pendulum can add more depth to your divination work since some of them have phrases, words, and numbers. It's not necessary, but it enriches your answers and helps shed clarity on certain situations. I'm going to show you several pendulums that I have in my collection.
So having a pendulum is a great tool. If you're able to make your own, fantastic. If not, literally, a string with a stone can be a pendulum. So don't feel bad if, if it doesn't look very ornate. Just make your own. It's going to be your tool and you're going to connect with it and you're going to see how of a great tool it is. All right. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out and blessings to all. Happy dowsing. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment and share it with someone who might benefit from it. And click the subscribe button for more future videos about tarot, divination and other esoteric topics.